180 while holding this. Uh, what? Probably hear all my family in the background. <laughs> all right. Cheers. This is what we're drinking today. Hey there, my name is Julian. I am a portrait and wedding photographer based here in Southern California. And I'm so glad to see you here again. I've been photographing weddings full-time since 2018. I've always had this idea to try to capture the couple in their most authentic self, in the most truest form possible, and this is what I mean right here. I've been having this slogan for a while, but it's not the business card here. So this is what I'm talking about. This is on the business card itself imagery created in its most natural form so what does that mean for me that means not forcing anything that does not feel natural at all like as wedding photographers and as uh, portrait photographers yeah we set the couple in a random environment of any choice say it's going to be <clears throat> out in nature or out in a studio or at home in their own private space. Obviously, everyone's gonna curate that space the best as possible and we're gonna try to photograph the people in that environment as best as possible. What I'm trying to say is nothing, nothing that I do, I would ever want it to feel too forced or over stylized. What I've been seeing on a lot of photographers websites and I'm pretty sure it's on my website in some form or iteration is the saying I want to document your story I'm sure you've seen that if you're a wedding photographer you probably relate and you probably feel maybe attacked I don't know <laughs> or if you are a potential client of mine and you're watching this just to see a little more inside of my thoughts and I've been saying something similar since like you know since I started and went full-time in 2018 and I am not sure if I have been telling that natural story as true as possible so I've been trying to figure out what does that entail like what does that mean to tell an authentic story to tell a natural story, to tell your story or the couple's story. What does that mean? There was a clubhouse discussion about this and how do you do that? And a lot of people were stumped. They did not know how to answer that and I was one of them. That kind of began this journey of trying to figure out what and how do we tell a story? And it got me thinking, I started watching a lot of movies, documentaries, um, like romantic movies, uh, drama movies. I've been watching a lot of movies with a lot of commentary to see how they do that. And what I came up with is what you're going to see later on. But I think I'm on to something in my own journey with this question of how to tell a true story. So simply got one of these. one of these and got a couple and last year I've been kind of dabbling with adding audio and ambient sound and slideshow and film and all types of things to help tell their story and I think I found something that's working Every time I do something, it's a little different. So, 
what you're about to see right now is a little form of that. So I hope you're stoked to see this session. These two are artists themselves. They're both musicians. Uh, they wanted to bring their guitar along. So a lot of the audio you're gonna hear is just of David just kind of strumming his guitar and Jocelyn is there just enjoying the moment. And they're just kind of conversating, just keeping it really natural. So yeah, enjoy, let me know what you think and peace. Yeah, right now it's the caffeine. But if I have something, <laughs> yeah. if I have something cool that I'm finishing, like, yeah, working on, like, a song is close to being done, or like, a video is close to being done, then that will make me want to get up and work on it. Like today, you're finishing your video. Yeah, like today I had a lot of energy. That one was a good one to swim through. Uh uh. I mean, I thought you were cute because I told my friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I don't know. The f I don't know exactly the first time I saw you. Cause you were a rehearsal or something, right? I'm, oh yeah, it must have been like a rehearsal. Yeah. What about you? Do you remember seeing me at that like, T-Sun? Like coming in to sing or something? Oh, yeah. Well, I think you played with Ruby. Was that before? Did you do a show? The first time we like actually talked. So I was like, my friend just has a picture of us talking. And then we texted like the next day because you got my number somehow. But then I think you asked me to go to Velocera, like. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did there. Super far away. Yeah. He took me to a restaurant that he had played a gig at, like regularly, so everyone there knew him. Look at your husband to be. Mm -hmm. Let's have you look at Jocelyn. <laughs> <laughs> 